Okay, so now we're going to set off a handheld flare. This is your base flare. Most people carry the handhelds. This is the, the primary piece that everybody has. In setting these off, it's important to know exactly what you're doing, and that's one of the reasons for these demonstrations. First off, the, the igniter or the strike is on the top of this. You remove the black cap, and you can just discard that. I'm going to put it in my pocket for now. Uh, next thing, you remove the cap, and you make sure that this is dry. When you ignite these, you always want to make sure of your direction of the wind. Um, as you're doing this in the boat, you don't want to create a bigger situation. So therefore, you want to make sure that you have the wind to your back, going over the side of the gunnel, and allowing the slag, which you will see come off of this, uh, going into the water. When you ignite this, you put your finger inside the cap. You never strike at it. Uh, you don't want to swing at this. You simply put your finger on top, push down, and push away from yourself. Never look into this, because uh, there will be a small pop that usually occurs once it gets to its, uh, uh, its greatest level of intensity. Um, and you, you, even if you're not sure if this has gone off, uh, you never want to look directly into it. The slag that you see falling off here, that too has been tested. Um, the slag in the testing cannot cause fire or, or ignite uh, fabrics, materials, other things. It is extremely hot, however, and you certainly don't want to get it onto your body. The other handheld signal that you, that you fire off, and although this is a day signal only, um, this is a smoke flare. Now, this is one that's very important as you fire it off that you do not look into it. It's the exact same construction. You have your, your cap that covers the igniter. Uh, you remove the cap, and then you have the, the, uh, the igniter button on top. Again, don't swing at it, just push down. Now, on smoke flares, again, it is very important that you don't look down into it, and as you'll see, it takes a second before it actually starts. Now, at this point, the smoke will begin, and this can be seen for miles, even in windy conditions, as you see here. With a 12-gauge launcher, uh, as Joe said, there really is no penetrating value to the meteors themselves. They are extremely hot again, just as you saw the other pieces burn. Um, the bandolier that is on this also locks the, uh, the firing pin in position, so when it's in place, you can't pull the firing pin back. So with the three, three meteors that are in here, uh, when you load the launcher, when you're in a boat, again, you don't want to create a larger situation. So when you load these, you always load it and then put it upward, where with any other firearm, you would hold it downward towards the ground. With a meteor, you want to hold it upward so that it doesn't bang around inside the boat and ignite other things. You also notice my finger is not on the trigger of it. Until you are ready to fire this, you always keep your finger off. When you're ready to set this off, you put two hands above your head, you pull the firing pin back, and then you fire off. Also be aware as you fire these off of the wind conditions. As you can see, that was a fairly short signal. That's a total of about seven seconds. And what you want to do when you set these off in a distress is send two off in a, in a row so that if a, another boat was going by and thought they may have seen a signal, they have verification that there was a distress and they will come to your aid. In some cases, you'll have a cartridge that will not fire. If it doesn't fire on the first turn, on the first time, you take and simply rotate the cartridge internally, re reset your, your loader, and then cock and and fire again. Uh, that puts the firing pin on a different position of the trigger mechanism itself. If that does not work, then you, you breach your, your launcher and you dump your meteor out. Kurt, there's obviously a big difference between 12 gauge meters and 25 millimeter product, correct? That's absolutely correct. The 25 millimeter, as we went into the intro, is a much larger meteor. Um, as you can see by the launcher and the meteor itself, um, it, is a, it is a larger meter. It does have more powder in it, so it will get a higher altitude to be seen much further. Um, we're going to demonstrate this one, but I also want to point out one thing with the 25 millimeter launchers. As individuals move to this, you can also purchase a piece that's called a converter. You put that in here and you can also set off your 12 gauge meteors. So once you move up to 25 millimeter, you still can utilize all of your 12 gauge meteors that you have for distresses, but also be able to move up to both 25 millimeter and 25 millimeter parachute flares. So moving from there, we're going to do the same thing as we did with the 12 gauge. Again, the bandolier carries three. It can hold up to six. 
we load in as you put this in position my finger is not on the trigger you lock it in put it up over your head you want two hands on it pull the firing pin back and fire Now we're going to introduce 25 millimeter parachute flare. Now when you first purchase this, you look at it and you, you obviously think that it does not fit in this launcher. However, this is the proper piece for it. It does go all the way through the barrel and itself is its own barrel. Again, we're going to lock this into place. Now this will go up about a thousand feet. It does have a parachute made of mylar, which will open up and allow it to come down much slower, basically a 25 second period. So we're going to fire this one off. Again, finger off the trigger until you're in the proper position. Always hold it upward, two hands on it, and we'll fire it up. You'll see a delay and then there'll be a pop when it comes on, and then the meteor will then float downward. As you can see, that's a much longer time, it's a much higher trajectory, and will signal boats from a much further distance. Going back to the sighting chart, you can see where this can be seen greater than 21 miles. Another signaling flare that's in the, uh, in the Orion category is called a Skyblazer self-contained launcher. These are good for people that, that have them in jackets um, or, or don't have the ability or size to carry a 12-gauge launcher since everything is contained within itself. This within itself is the launcher and the meteor. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. The launcher again, as you saw, I'll do it again. You can push it to open. That's now your barrel. You, you release the firing pin below, which gives you a chain that sticks down. This you put your finger through. Again, holding up and away from yourself, you're gonna pull this straight down. 